and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely be at one with, be at heaven with, floating on the clouds with, the smell, the aroma of the wine. <laughs> Have you been drinking already, John? <laughs> the explosion on your palate, the titillation all over your mouth will <laughs> enthrall you once you find the right wine. And that's what we're trying to help you do. Is Indeed. It not? Indeed, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, in this little series of episodes, we're looking at Malbecs. And the last little time we looked at Argentinian Malbec. We did, yeah. Which uh, you, I remember you saying that we penned off on that one because it was a signature grape. That's correct, yeah. So, um, but we were a little bit disappointed, generally. We can, we'll do the links to them, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it wasn't what we expected, really, was it? I don't know. It just didn't have, as you say, in that wine that you love, that titillates your mouth, did you say? I thought I'd picked up on that one. Um, it just didn't do that. It, they were all right, but we don't want a wine that's all right, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't want waste, you wasting money on wine that's all right. We want you buying money you think is absolutely value for money. So, we're going to try this time we're moving to La Francais. A La Francais indeed, Which yeah. is, now we haven't, uh, purposely we haven't done a lot of research on these wines. We want to taste them blind, so to speak. We know what they are, but we, we don't want to know what the, t uh, the price is, because that sometimes influences, can influence you subconsciously. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the first one we're going to go with is a, what? It's, um, it's, well, it's, I know, we know it's a Tesco finest. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a Malbec from Cahors, which of course is a region in France. Right. Uh, now, oh, really? Uh, yes. Now, night at, the, the cars which I've usually got, oh, to be honest, I don't really know what the, the grape is in the cohorts which I usually get because it never tells you on there. As we said with French wines before, you know, that's where they, they, they've fallen down a lot because French wine sales, especially for me, I'm, I couldn't speak for everybody, have definitely dipped. Um, we say this is because they, they don't generally tell you what the grape is because they think you should know. Um, you know, like, so, so nowadays, you know, if you go into the supermarket, for instance, and you know you like Cabernet Sauvignon, even if it is a Cabernet Sauvignon or in the French wine, it will say Chateau or something or other. So you need to know which one. But they've come round to it now, like for instance now, though I said in this cause that this is uh, the Malbec, so it better be a little bit too late though. I, I think also uh, the French typically uh, tend to blend more, don't they? They do, yes. So yeah. if you get sort of Burgundy or, or, or sort of Bordeaux, it's not just one great. No, no. Um, and so I suppose until, because of the style, they didn't actually have to say, previously they wouldn't have to say, because there wasn't that competition around them. No, I suppose not on them. And, and not quite, certainly not as much single great competition. So. No, and especially not in France, I know they, they do tend to sell a lot of, of their their own over, over any, any others. Yeah, and I, get, do you, I was going to say, do you think actually that the blending is going to come back? I would, I would imagine so, yeah. I mean, so even when blended, it will usually tell you on the back what the blend, unless you're, unless you're using 10 grapes in there, it would usually give you a good idea of what they are. Um, not everyone, but uh, yeah, blend, blending works. Blending works uh, very well. Because we a little while back at Virgin Atlantic, we had the uh, the Grenache and the was it? I can't remember Sierra and something else. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. So uh, and that was delicious. That was delicious. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So oh well. Okay. Well, we're going to try. This is this is a single yep. grape, Malbec. Malbec. You can get it from Tesco's. It's t John's right, your left. Uh, if you want to have a look at the bottle, so you can recognise it. So. We'll have a look against the white label, see if we can see any rim and see the colour of the, uh, the no, so it's no purple rim today, John. No, no. Never mind, better next time. But it's got, it's got, it has got the rich, rich garnity, yeah. deep colour. That looks good. But when I was just giving it a little wash around the, the, the glass there, it did have a, like, like a purple hue, but did not it? a purple rim. Yeah. Okay. Just on the edge. Oh, yeah, I see you mean. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So let's give it a go on the old uh, nose. Okay. The other thing to say about it, it's quite bright, isn't it? It's nice and clear yeah. and sparkly. It looks appealing. I don't know what it is about French wine, but when I smell it, I always think, it's French. It's just, it's just got its own... I, I know exactly, yeah, I know exactly what you do mean. It, it is, it is a quite a not, it's, it's a fairly obvious smell, isn't it? You can almost... Yeah. Well, if I'm detecting it, it must be obvious. Yeah, but why is it? I don't know, is it the oak they use or something? Quite possibly. Yeah, because the French oak is well sought after. Mm. Smell, it's, this actually smells you know, um, good. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. a lot of, well, that being awful, it's the French wines are not always my favourite. But that. For the nose? Yeah, it smells, it, it appeals. It's got a real quiet black currenty smell up going on there. Which is fine. Yeah. Shall we get a go? Let's give it a go.
Sorry about that, folks. Is that you, John? <laughs> How unprofessional! <laughs> it's fine, Joe. It's fine. I'll forgive it. No, right. see, that was a bit restricted because the first, the first bit for me there was really quite tannic, and you know I don't like the tannins. But then, as I took the second one, it, this, the tannins really softened out, which like, which, which meant I could get, get more of the fruit there. But I taste it. It doesn't really. It doesn't. It's one, I'd call it one dimensional, do you know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah, one dimensional, that famous pop group. Mm. That's exactly the other job. No, it kind of, fair, first impressions, because again, that black currant comes through on the, on, on the flavour, and I thought, oh, that's nice. And then tannins took over, but then the second sip, like, that softened out. But then it's just gone, there's yeah. no length there whatsoever. Yeah. It's like what I've referred to as a, a cocktail wine. In other words, you're not really going to focus on it. If you're just talking to people and yeah. sipping at the same time, it's not something you're yeah. going to give any... No, it's inoffensive. Yeah. You know, it's, it, um, there's, there's, what says any bad about it? Just so to say, it's, it's, it's not my favourite wine. It's not my favourite wine. It's probably about as... Uh, the uh, best I can give it. Yeah, well, I, we'll, we'll put the uh, price of it below, but um, in terms of score... I'm gonna go low with this one. In a number of ways, because well, I, I'm gonna say 60, 64. And, okay. and that is, number one, because it's not particularly my style of wine. Number two, because I, I, I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't recognize that, should I say, as a Malbec. Okay. I'm gonna go 58. Bloody hell. I mean, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Joe. That is low. That's possibly the lowest score you've I ever think, given a wine. I think it's the lowest score. Uh, uh -huh. it's, it's perfectly perfectly ineffective, but, um, you know, all of a sudden the Argentinian mailbacks compared to this yeah. are just, just in a different world. And it's just so, I don't know, flat's the wrong word, but it's, as you say, no. it's just one dimensional. And as, as we always say, there'd be people that really rave about this and mm. really love it, and you could be one of them. Uh, but but uh, for my palate, um, no, it really doesn't float my boat. I, I think this is, although we are, you know, perhaps not giving it a, a very good review, I think this would work for somebody who doesn't particularly like red wine. Because he, although if you can get past that initial kind of bit of tannins, afterwards there's nothing really there. Do you know what I mean? It's not, we, we, I think a lot of people don't like red wine because of the tannins in there, uh, or because it can be too full-bodied, but that is neither. So I think that, it has, I think it has a place, but not in my shop. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously in Tesco's. Mm. Mm. Tesco's finest. Yeah, I'd be a bit. I would be interested to see how much that was. Yeah. What would you pay? Oh, would interesting. No. Good Not again. No, no, no. One spin and all that. No, I mean you know, if someone told me that they 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 liked it and so therefore they wanted me to buy them a bottle, um, I'd I'd probably resent paying over six pounds for it. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I, I, four pound fifty would be closer, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, so this is probably about the most savage we've been about a wine. I, I know. Well, I wouldn't. Or I've I been about. Yeah, I'll, 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 well, we don't mean to be. It's, it's just our opinion. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I'm saying we. It's me that was mostly doing the. Uh... <laughs> Test cars are gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, well, let's 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 look at it this way. The only way is up now. Don't work it, work it, oh, can't work. Now he's said it. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to have to see. Yeah. We're just going to have to see. Well, we're going to try two more French uh, Malbecs, and we're, hopefully they're going to recover the French uh, pride. Yes, let's see. Let's see. We'll see you there. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs>